let me tell you about the time I actually wore the official costume for the Toxic Avenger. First off, let me just say how much I love Toxic Avenger and all of its movies. It was pretty much everywhere when I was a kid in the 80s and early 90s. I mean, it even had its own little toy line for kids. No match for my Toxic Power Crusader Skater. Stickers and a sticker book and coloring book for kids. It even had its own cartoon series. Now that I'm a hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength, where will I even live? Which is funny because it's based on a movie that is definitely not for kids. My point is this, Bughead. This is my planet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mom! A couple years ago, I was at the LA Comic Con doing some in-person interviews for the uh, podcast that I have and for this YouTube channel, of course. And we're walking around and we're interviewing Lloyd Kaufman. Greetings from Tromaville. I'm Lloyd Kaufman. Of course, you probably know as the co-creator of Troma Entertainment and the creator of Toxic Avenger. I guess just want to let you know that I'm on Patreon now. Check out the links down below. Each Patreon supporter of mine will get their name at the end of all my videos. It starts at only $3 a month and it'll help me on my YouTube journey. Thanks. So I finished interviewing Lloyd and I had to make a phone call. So I walk off and uh, my buddy Christian, he stays with Lloyd and he's, he's calling me over there. He's like, Tim, come here, come here. And I uh, kind of find out Lloyd actually wanted me to put on the official Toxic Avenger costume and to do a little skit. There is no way I was gonna pass that up because to get the chance to wear the official Toxic Avenger costume they had there at their table, I'd be stupid to say no. So I put on the costume and uh, we do this little skit before I play it though. Lloyd, if you're watching this, huge fan of your work, love to be in one of your movies, give me a call. Christian, where's the Toxic Avenger? I, I wanted him to, I wanted it, he was I, here and it was so great and... Well, I wanted to get a, like a selfie with him or something at least, with both of you. Oh, guys. there, hey, Toxie, where oh, you there been? He, he was just here and then oh, you gosh. went away. What, what were you doing, Toxie? Can I get a selfie with you and Lloyd? Toxie says maybe, maybe. Okay. Depends how big your mop is. I noticed, Christian, that Toxie seems to have grown since a couple of minutes ago. I know, he's like almost but, like six, four, well, seven Toxie, feet. Well, Toxie, wait a minute. What, what, you look so much bigger. How did that happen? And uh, Lucas, wait a minute. Lucas. This is Luke, wait a minute. Lucas, you were Toxie. What What happened? Uh, let's, let's, let's see what happened here. Okay. Oh, my God. I don't want any nudity. No new. I run a clean house, which we're a straight edge here in Tromaville. Uh, oh, right. If this man's, if this is naked, Toxy. No, no naked cow. Whoa! It's Wait, it's Tim. What? Holy, Tim. Holy, you're toxic. You're Whoa, toxic. Whoa, that's fantastic. And uh, Tim Nidell. It's is incredible. Toxins? Wow. And I'm, I'm keeping the tutu. <laughs> it's a uh, uh, hashtag me tutu. Hashtag me tutu. Get it? Work with me. All the trauma movies for the first 40 years are free. Oh, and you, see, on we, YouTube. Start, we started. Are they you really? started talking about? I, we started doing that. Well, there yeah. you go. So you can watch our film too. Oh, and he great. actually played a character very much like Toxie. Yeah. Called Carpenter. <clears throat> and it was like a like a horror movie yeah. comedy. Set, like almost that, like know, 80s retro, and so that's what we do. That's a good name for a film director. Yeah, I know, and that was <laughs> the whole. We knew crazy. that's what we were that, doing. That would never too. happen. In yeah, so. Lloyd, I, Lloyd, I just want to yes. thank you for everything. You made me into a twisted teenager. Oh, so here. thank you for well, doing that. Uh, thank you very much for that. It's better than an Oscar, you know. They, <laughs> they they buy Oscars. I could never buy that kind of uh, that kind of love. And look who's here, it's Kansas Bowling. Awesome. Kansas Bowling right. just happened to show up. <laughs> just saw a camera and here she is. Kansas is gonna be like James Gunn and Trey Parker, the great, and others who have come out of Troma. Yeah. She's next in line. How did you get in, how, what, how yeah. did Troma become inspiring to you? Uh, it, <laughs> wait, sorry, I'm not- You're not gonna be able to dig your way out of this one. You walked into a trap. You did it, you did it. I know, it's you not I'm good at discovering people. You know, I'm sort of, we're sort of like Never Never Land. The people go away and Uncle Lloyd, he's like Peter Pan, stays in Tromaville. And, uh, Kansas is on a merry way as a director. A lot of, uh, you, Death, the, uh, Death Valley. Death Valley Girls? Yeah, you do yeah. the music videos. They're great. Yeah. Toxie is one of my favorite creatures. Superhuman creatures, please. Yes, Actually hideously deformed creatures of superhuman size and strength. 
correct, Kansas? Tell us how inspired you were, though, by the Toxic <laughs> Avenger, really. Um, well, Toxie was very inspiring. Um, I kind of made a prehistoric version of him for my movie, BC Butcher. Uh -huh. So what is next for Troma? Well, uh, that's a very, uh, very broad question. difficult question. Uh, Troma gets pushed further and further down into the underground by the fact that the industry is so consolidated and now they're going to get rid of uh, net neutrality. So uh, anyone who's got any kind of thoughts of being an independent artist better get a day job. <laughs> but uh, the good news is right here at LA Comic Con, Ka Kansas and, and uh, Ashley and um, uh, uh, Courtney uh, and uh, uh, Chelsea will, will be doing the, uh, the Q&A for um, Return to Newcomb High and Return to Newcomb, Return to Return to Newcomb High tomorrow, one o'clock, right here at uh, LA Comic Con. And volume two has, not, has only been here a couple of weeks at Lemley Cinema, so a lot of people need to see and want to see uh, Return to Return to Newcomb High, AKA volume two. Kansas and, and Parker Love Bowling have seen it, right? And what was it like when uh, James Gunn all of a sudden gives you a call and says, hey, come on to Gar Guardians of the Galaxy, you want to make a cameo? What was that like? Uh, James Gunn didn't exactly give me a call oh, to be. I, I think I basically had to um, uh, oh, James Gunn to get those two seconds. Really? <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> but I definitely, uh, I, I was the aggressor. James is such a good guy. Yeah. He let me be in volume one. That was great. He's that a great was, guy. He's terrific. Great. Will we ever see a return of Toxie? We don't have money now. That's why we made Shakespeare's Shitstorm. I had I had a, a, yeah. about enough to make that movie. So we need eight hundred thousand dollars for uh, uh, the fifth Toxic Avenger. We have a, a script, uh, a first draft. Uh, a lot of it's going to be uh, taking place in Chernobyl. Uh, we've got the contacts in Chernobyl. Uh, they really want us, and especially in the infected areas with the two-headed frogs. We're looking forward to that. So, but we don't have that. We need eight hundred thousand. We don't have it. Well, that would be one of the greatest days when I see that being made. Well, you're very nice to be interested in uh, trauma, but Kansas is the future, right? You're not in Tromaville anymore, Kansas. Kansas Bowling. And Ashley from Shakespeare's Shitstorm. And uh, Brad Pitt. I mean, uh, Toxic Yay. Yeah, thanks for appearing. Yeah,